Hi, this is Sherry Morris with Recompose.us, and I'm here today to talk to Johanna Koenig. She's a graduate professor for a mental health counseling program and a licensed clinical social worker and supervisor. She works in the private sector as a trauma-informed teen and young adult clinician. Her work is so impactful for so many people, and as a part of Ketlin Psychotherapy, I'm talking to her today about the intersection of her practice with Recompose Us and the work we do with conflict resolution. Welcome, Johanna. It's a pleasure to see you today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to see you too. So I think um, today, as we talk about the work you do, one thing that struck me in your background and that you had shared with me previously is how divorce is really an important topic for you personally and professionally. So if we could explore that a little today, because I know you work really primarily in trauma and, and like to focus on trauma clients, perhaps you can share a little bit with us about how divorce impacted you personally. And then after you share that, I'll ask about the impact professionally. So. Do you mind sharing a little about your background and, and why divorce is an important topic for you? Yes, absolutely. So firstly, I mean, divorce is so prevalent and unfortunately, uh, you know, according to the APA, about 40 to 50% of marriages end in divorce today. So it's certainly an issue that impacts a lot of people. For me personally, it's impacted my view of relationships, my view of homeostasis, of what is a healthy dynamic. If you think about it, we know that growing up in our families of origin, that's our first model of what we think a relationship should look like, even if it's dysfunctional. And so for me personally, uh, with the help of a really good therapist, I was able to sift through that and explore that and ensure that some of the unhealthy patterns that I had learned growing up um, wouldn't continue to affect my relationships as an adult. Johanna, that is a really powerful statement and I really appreciate you sharing that personal information. I find that, that clients and certainly your patients want to know um, your history at least a little bit so that they understand your perspective when you're treating them. And so now if you may sort of um, cross the divide of personal to professional, how does your own experience of divorce and then your professional training impact what you do for people who are either children of divorce or experiencing divorce themselves? What what approach do you take? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So firstly, I just want to mention that although I have had a personal experience and it was a traumatic experience as it is for many, that as a professional, I really recognize that everybody has their own set of experiences and their own worldview. So first and foremost, I come from a client-centered place of understanding, creating a safe environment in a completely open environment where I'm letting their experience lead and be the main focus. Um, a lot of times it does take some psychodynamic work where we look at how a core belief system may have been impacted by some of the trauma that has happened. I mean, if you think about it, divorce really is a complex trauma and it really can be for a lot of people because there are so many different transitions that happen in a relatively short amount of time, financially, housing, uh, the breakup of the family structure. So what I really do with clients is I sit with them and I see if there are any maladaptive behavioral or belief patterns that are associated with those transitions, even if it was 20 years ago from their childhood. We sit together, we, we uh, become aware of those so that we can then move to more of a behavioral oriented approach, which would be cognitive behavioral therapy, where we um, basically take a look at how belief systems can be impacting behavior and it helps them make very tangible uh, aware changes within their own relationships. 
Johanna, that is a very clear and um, very helpful explanation of how you work with your patients. And it's very appreciated to know that you are so client-centric. And describing the modalities you use gives people a real sense of what you may do to support them in their trauma, past trauma, and moving forward. So if people are interested in reaching out to you that may have any kind of trauma-informed work to be done, how can they find you? Absolutely. So um, the KentlandPsychotherapy.com website, it's www.KentlandPsychotherapy.com. I'm on there. My direct email through them is jkonig at KentlandPsychotherapy.com. Uh, we can link that at the end as well. And I do have an Instagram page, uh, which is on Instagram at therapy.with.com. Johanna, and Johanna is spelled J-O-H-A-N-N-A. Thank you, Johanna. That was incredibly clear and helpful. And again, I look forward to our continuing collaboration. Um, your work at Kentland Psychotherapy as we launch Recompose Us and our focus upon resolving conflicts of so many kinds. And you can find these resources on Dear Divorce Coach as well. We're right here to help you every step of the way. Thank you, Johanna, and I look forward to much more soon. Thank you.